wondered about the correct priorities for the Christian woman. What are the, the order of priorities? And I want to start with something that's not going to be super popular, but hey, if you're a woman who has said that you long for revival to break out in America and you've been one of those people like so many of us who've been so disappointed to see the country going further and further and further away from God and you're like praying Lord bring revival bring people back to you then really your top priority is to get eyes off of self and to actually set your mind on things above. In fact, this is the instruction that we get in God's Word in Colossians 3, 2, set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. And so this means we have to be super countercultural because our culture says it's about achievement, it's about success, whether it's monetary or career-wise, or even that your kids are the best athlete or the best uh, you know, trumpet player in the band or the best actor in the school production, you know, it, everything is about achievement and success and money and having the best, you know, Pinterest backyard and the best Pinterest house and that you're showing all your wonderful vacations on Instagram and, and everyone's going, oh my gosh, that looks like such an amazing vacation. And, and are any of these things God's top priority. Not that those things are bad things or even sinful things. God isn't saying, oh, I want you to live in a hovel necessarily, but God's saying, set your mind on things above. That is the Christian woman's first priority. Above even her marriage, her parenting, everything else, is setting our minds on things above. And then everything else kind of falls into place. Your marriage improves when you're not consumed with self. Your parenting improves when you're not consumed with self. And as we set our minds on things above, revival happens. I wanted to take you to the book of Acts chapter two. This is the very early weeks of the church after Christ had descended, after he had rose from the rose from the dead. And it says that they were, they were adding thousands of souls every single day. But look what they were doing. Acts chapter 2, starting in verse uh, 42. They were continually devoting themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Everyone kept feeling a sense of awe and many wonders and signs were taking place through the apostles. And all the believers were together and had all things in common. And they would sell their property and, and possessions and share with the all to the extent that anyone had need. This does not sound like the way we do things in America, does it? We're like hoarding. We're like saying, well, you, you take care of yourself. I've got to take care of my family and take a really nice vacation and buy some new furniture and get a new wardrobe. And, and maybe after that, I'll have a few pennies to give to those in need. Yeah, God's ways are countercultural, but these are the priorities for the Christian woman to set our minds first on things above. Lord, what is your will for me this day? What is your plan for me this day? And when it comes to planning, what are you up to in the next weeks and months ahead where I can in involve myself in your work instead of my desires? Those are the priorities for the Christian woman. And I'm not saying it's easy. I mean, God has to like pry my grip off of my possessions and self-focus. He has to pry my grip off it half the time. I'm learning too, but let's, let's go for it, ladies. Let's make the Lord and his plans our first priority.